All right, so this is a little bit of a different style of video. It's not going to be as polished or as well organized as you would probably expect from this channel, but I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an insight, sort of behind the scenes, of what it took to get Bootcamp running on this machine. At the end, I'll tell you what I did, and I'll have a link down below to a post on my subreddit for steps that you can follow to get Windows installed, but just know that this video is kind of a mess. No, but like for real, this video is a complete and utter mess. Okay, so we are attempting at least to install Boot Camp, but it's not going entirely well. Um, here's Noah to explain what's going on. So, the problem is that we are trying to install Boot Camp on a device which does not support it for Windows 10, at least. Basically, that device, the, uh, that iMac supports Windows 7 and earlier, but uh, only with a CD which is not what we want with Windows 10, and we want to use this flash drive, which has a Windows 10 installer on it. So what we have to do, uh, or what we're going to do in the next video, is we're going to pull that SSD out of the iMac. We're going to plug it into a PC, a Windows computer, and you know we're gonna open it up and we're gonna plug in the SATA cable and whatever, and then we need to boot the installer on a Windows computer and install it because there's some BIOS setting that we have to set in order to, in order to make it work. So we're just testing that now, but in the next video, we're gonna actually make it work. My favorite part is how you can see us in the reflection. These, these screens are so... Hello, here we are. All right, so as you can see, if you look past Noah, who's in the reflection here, we are installing Boot Camp. Although it's actually not Boot Camp, is it Noah? I mean, we're not using the Boot Camp Assistant, but like, it's Windows on a Mac, so. Yeah, basically all we're doing is just installing Windows like you would on any PC. We didn't go through Boot Camp, and then we'll just download the drivers yep. that we need. Um, but basically what had happened was we weren't able to install it at first. Noah will tell us why. Yes, yeah, so we were getting we were getting an error message when we tried to install it. Something like it was supposed to be a GPT, but it wasn't MVR. Or maybe it was the other way around. Something with the partition scheme. Something with the partition scheme was wrong. And I thought, see, this happened to me on my early 2011 MacBook Pro. And to fix it, I took the SSD and I stuck it in my. PC and I installed Windows through there and I thought that's what we were gonna have to do But it turns out that we didn't have to go through all that effort. Basically, all you have to do is um, Whatever your partition that you're gonna use for boot camp We just erased in Mac OS put it as as Mac OS extended which obviously Windows can't use and then just install on the unallocated space um, And then it just works fine. So it's an issue that I've had a couple of times um, some of t some of the times I've gotten it resolved, I think I probably ended up just doing that and forgot about it in my head. But that's all you have to do, so we don't have to take the SSD out, which is nice. So now we're setting it up, we're going to install some games, um, so we can do a bit of a before and after for our graphics upgrade video, which will be coming out soon, Woo. whenever we actually get around to doing this. Wait, there's one more thing. First of all, this just like, don't put this in the video, but this just like, Shrunk like that. No, don't stop filming. This is one other thing I want to do. I don't know what happened. Like and then it just went back to the beginning of the setup. Oh, that's not good. Mm. <laughs> okay, so like I was in the middle of. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay, so like I was in the middle of setting this up, and then the screen went black, and then it came back, but the whole setup window was like really small in the middle, and then we just blew screen. So let's, uh, let's. See what happens. See, this is why you want to do all of this before you do your graphics, because having this boot screen is essential. Yeah. And we're probably going to lose that. So. so. That's interesting, though, that that partition was called EFI boot. That might be what Windows calls it. I'm not sure. Like, when the Windows installer might call it that. It didn't do that yeah. on my old Mac, but maybe it does here. Because my old Mac, I did it a different way than this. But let's just see. I wonder, let's see if we can get through this. Oh, you know what else happened on my old Mac? I don't know if I'm going to Anyways, what else happened on my old Mac was, like, that's not good. Mm. Okay, so what happened the last time on my old Mac, like, shortly after, shortly before I got rid of it, I tried to put Windows 10 on it, 
And it, I got through the whole install and it turned on, but after like a minute or two, Windows 10 would crash. Really? Yeah, and it would, and I'd reboot it, it would log in, it would work for a minute or two, and then it would crash. And that was like at the, like, cause I had Windows 10 working on that old Mac for like a long time, and then I think I went to wipe it for some reason, and then after that, it just didn't work anymore. So I wonder if we'll run into issues with this. So interestingly enough, we did actually run into these issues. I'm now editing this video, and I'm just remembering that Noah said this, which is interesting because much later what we ended up doing was some other method where we had to install Windows 7 and then upgrade to 10. And as soon as the bootcamp drivers installed in Windows 7, the machine would crash every time it turned on. And it ended up being the display drivers, which makes sense because they're both 6000 series AMD graphics from Noah's MacBook Pro and this iMac. You want me to grab it? <clears throat> Why did my PC restart? Probably because it's not a PC. Hi. Oh, that's so <laughs> that's so reflective. <laughs> and see, before it was the full screen, and then it went to this, and then it crashed. So I wonder. Oh, you know, I mean, w when it does that, it could be because Windows detects drivers now. Yeah, it could be a graphics thing. So it probably detected the drivers for the graphics card. Maybe that ran into an issue. It might have been too much for it to like, like to update the graphics while it was on. Like, it would have been too much for it to handle. You know what I mean? All right, and just like that, we are in bootcamp. Is well, I guess it's not bootcamp, but just Windows 10 is installed. Let's go ahead and check the device manager. Oh wait! Oh see. my gosh! Look at that! All right, so it's pulled up our AMD graphics here. Uh, click on display adapters. Yep. All right. So it sure did. Okay, so Windows automatically found. I love that Windows finds drivers now, by the way. Founds, yep. All right, is. yep. So it found our wireless card. That's cool. Wow, I'm impressed. Good job, Windows. I That used to be one of my big complaints about Windows was that it could never find your drivers. And it was always like, you'd always have to go hunting through lists of support software or get those the, the little tiny DVDs that always came in the box. But now at least... Look at that, it already has Catalyst Control Center, which is a little outdated, but at least it has it. All right, so it's now day three of trying to get the iMac to work from a software perspective. Hardware, we've had no issues, interestingly enough. However, um, basically, we were able to get Windows installed, and we got like 900 gigs of games installed, no problem. But, we're having this one very persistent issue. So now if you'd like to explain what's going on. It sounds like clickbait. This one issue. Okay. Doctors hate this one issue. Don't tell your insurance company about this one issue. Oh. Ah, oh, nuts. That was good. We were literally just updating macOS. What is the issue? What do you want? All we did was hit update in Mac in the App Store. What? Work! <laughs> this thing is gonna be the death of me. Literally the death of me. Oh, the fan's back. All right, what do you reckon? What do you think is your- Oh, uh, oh, safe mode, safe mode. Nice. As long as it works, I literally could not care less. I do not care. Just please turn on. Oh. Oh, you know what that was See, that's... safe mode? It was like a test. That was some like, uh, some, some test. Okay. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah. Okay. All righty then. No, hey, no one ever, I never promised that this was gonna be practical, okay? Did you promise it was gonna work? Because I, I said, I hope it would work, otherwise this is gonna be a very boring video but series. And you can quote me on that. We didn't promise that it would work. Exactly, so that's, that's okay. exactly. Hopefully we'll put some things in it and they'll work. God, I hope it works, otherwise it's gonna be a really boring video series. But it appears to be trying to work. All right, so while we're here, why don't you talk us through the issue that we're having in Windows? Okay, so we got Windows working, we got a bunch of stuff going, but we couldn't get the sound to work. And that includes both the speakers and the headphone jack, and I guess the mic jack, so. Yeah, I mean, it's the audio controller on the board, so no sound of any sort on this machine in Windows 10. Which is not great when you're trying to play games. Yeah. You could say. So, we tried a ton of driver-related things, but it looks like the issue has to do with the way that we installed Windows, 
I, I, I think that we installed it using EFI mode. And then Definitely, because like, when we when you start up the boot switcher, the Windows partition, because we just installed it on like an unnamed partition, it's it shows up as EFI boot. So it's definitely booting in EFI mode. Okay, so we installed in EFI mode, and then I think like the sound isn't supported in that mode. You have to install it in some other mode, which we can't do on the Mac. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the SSD out of the iMac, and we're gonna stick it into that PC over there where we can actually control the BIOS. So then we can boot from this other boot mode and install Windows 10 with this other method and then when we put it back into the iMac, the sound should work. All right, so as you can see, we've got the Please iMac <laughs> in various stages of disassembly. We've got a developing situation as far as Windows goes, and it's really, really a pain. So Noah, could you fill us in on what the situation is as of right now? Okay, I think what the problem is, so it's like the, the UEFI boot means that we can't use the sound, and then we tried to use the, the, the USB boot on the PC, but then the PC said that it would have to be an MBR partition instead of a GPT, which we don't want MBR because I don't think Mac OS likes that and it's also older or whatever. So like, I'm trying to figure this out. I think what we're gonna try to do is install Windows 7 on the iMac and then update to Windows 10 from within Windows 7 because then maybe we get the drivers installed, maybe the sound will work, and then and then we upgrade and see what happens. And then we'll kind of grandfather the drivers into Windows 10, which should allow us to do it that way. It should, but it won't, because nothing ever works. Yeah, well that's one way to look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's it's a holiday miracle, frankly, because we have fully functioning Windows 10 installed on this machine. Look, ready? The sound works and everything. It is an absolute miracle that our little scatterbrained idea to try and get Windows 10 on this thing has actually succeeded. Basically, what we did to get Windows 10 fully functioning with sound on this computer was keep it in the stock configuration, apart from the SSD, obviously. We put the optical drive back. Through macOS, we created a Windows 7 install DVD, and then we ran the normal bootcamp procedure, installing Windows 7, installing the bootcamp drivers, and whatnot. Now, once we got the bootcamp drivers installed, this strange issue happened on this particular computer, which is that every time it would turn on after the drivers were installed, it would crash very, very quickly. So I determined that this is a result of the graphics card, the stock one, the 6970M. Windows, for some reason, does not like this card. It wasn't going to have it, and it wasn't going to keep working. Again, I apologize for my voice. I'm very sick. So what I ended up doing to resolve this, or at least to move forward, was to boot into safe mode in Windows 7, which you will have the option to after it crashes, and then I disabled the graphics driver. From there, Windows 7 worked perfectly fine, and I did an in-place upgrade to Windows 10, which left all of our drivers, like the audio driver, in place. This worked perfectly well, and I was even able to get the graphics drivers installed on this machine. It auto-detected them. However, after about an hour or two, it started to have some crashing issues where it would reboot or it would just shut off. So I have disabled the internal graphics as of right now. The Radeon graphics is just using the basic Microsoft adapter. So for our circumstances, this really isn't much of an issue because we're going to be putting better graphics in this thing anyway. However, if you want to use Windows 10 with the stock graphics, you may be out of luck on a 2011 model. So that's just kind of the way it is. However, we were able to get it working. We have finally got our Windows and Mac all set up and ready to go, and we are ready to install the graphics. So as usual, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates of the iMacenstein. And with that, I will see you all in the next video.